another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure your document using Titan Word Added and connect it to Salesforce directly. And then you'll be able to view those documents in Salesforce at a click of a button. So, step one, you need to sign up. If you haven't signed up, then uh, you need to do that because that's literally the first step and a very important one. Once you've signed up and you're, you're in, good, good to go. And from here on, we'll just go ahead and begin uh, the entire process. Once you've signed up, go ahead and connect your Salesforce org to your um, form builder. So you would do that by revoking or granting the access. Um, and then what you would do is whether you're in a sandbox. So if you're in a sandbox, you would use sandbox. If you're in a production, you would use production. And then you will just take your login details into them one by one and then go ahead and log in. The way you log into the form builder is exactly the way you would log into the word add-in which I will show you very very shortly. So we're logged in, we've connected our Salesforce, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. At this point I'm going to show you what I'm building. I want to be, so the use case is simple, I want to be able to click a button in my opportunity be able to see the data in that document relating to my opportunity and then also a couple of the uh, related objects like uh, account and contact at a click of a button. That's it. That's all we're doing. Um, and the way I designed this specific document, some of the stuff that I'm going to do in there, almost a, you can do, you can use the same methodology and apply that to the custom objects as well. Uh, it's the same premise. So. Without further wait, we would go to Word. At this point, in your Word document, you need to install the add-in. Where does the add-in live? The add-in's over here. In your store, click on the store, type in Form Titan, and then go ahead and add it. I already have it installed, so I don't need to do anything, but you need to have it installed. Once it's installed, you will see a tab up there. It will be called Form Titan, but I'm gonna use this one for now, so for you, it would be Form Titan. And once you have it installed, you need to click on the Form Titan icon. And like I said earlier, sign in just how you would sign into your form builder, just the same way. And I'm going to go and get my password now. And we're in. If you are associated to multiple accounts like this, choose the one that you wish to log in with. For me, it's going to be this one. And then we're in. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and build my document. So let's have a look back at Salesforce. I want to bring back opportunity name. I want to bring back opportunity amount. And then opportunity stage. Then we'll bring back account name. And then we'll bring back all the contacts that are linked to that account. So what we'll do is right now, I think there's only one contact. In fact, there's none, so we will add some um, contacts here for that account. We'll call this one Tim Blogs, and then uh, give it an email, tim at blogs.com. Let's do one more, I already have, Joe Blogs. And uh, just got to link into the account, really. That's all I have to do here. Mm -hmm. So, where is it? There it is. Okay. All right, we're done. So, just to recap, we're going to bring back opportunity name, opportunity stage, and uh, we'll bring back the amount. Then we'll bring back the account name and all the related contacts to that account. Super simple. So switching back here, this is where I start to begin. I'm going to do insert slash edit field. And then choose my object opportunity. If you are bringing back multiple fields from one object, always use one get. So the best way to know what that one get is, add a comment. Say bring data back from, or just say op data, very simple. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and insert the name. Insert 
insert stage and amount. So again, you see that? This is the same get. This is what we want to do all the time. And then finally we will do data and then amount. Okay, next up what I'm going to do is insert the account for that opportunity. So we'll do opportunity and I will use account ID and then reference it account name and then go ahead and insert it. And then finally I'm going to bring all the contacts from that account. So what we'll do is we'll go back here, we'll bring back contact, we'll set all account, all contact for me. We'll do first name, last name, and the email. We'll do first name, last name, and then email. So these are labels, and these are your actual fields from Salesforce. Go ahead and insert my table, and we're good to go. <coughs> now at this point, we want to make sure our data is linked up correctly. So what you want to do is you want to click on preview first and make sure the data is settled up. So what we want to say opportunity ID equals, we want to leave this for now, but I want to focus on this one. And what we're going to say is contact ID, uh, sorry, we want to say account ID. So we're going to say bring account ID, account ID in here. So account ID must exist in my opportunities account ID. And if the match is found, bring back all the contacts and save conditions. That's it. And now let's give it a test actually. So we're gonna take the ID and then chuck it in here. And then let's see some data coming back into this document. All right, cool. So there it is, there it is, there it is. All good, very, very good. So once the data is there and you're happy with that, make sure you need to now you need to configure the publish. The publish works differently, okay? So it needs to be whatever the object ID equals the record ID of that object. Because that, when we configure the button on the object, we'll use that record ID versus that record ID to identify it. So that's good. And then the second one, again, same way I configured my preview, I need to do the same thing here. So let's say account ID equals account ID, like that. And we'll bring back all. And this is it, done. Once you've configured your document and you are happy, just do click publish to new form. You want to enter your form name and you want to give it a name. I'll call it op.gen and publish. At this point, your work is pretty much done. Um, and now all you have to do is log back into the builder if you're already logged in, great. And then what you need to do is click on Form Builder. And then over here, click File, Open. And you see that this is what name we gave to that document, op.gen. Click Apply. And we're in. Next step, what you want to do is you want to go over to Document Generation, Word Mapping, Configure. Click on Salesforce button, Configure. Click on Lightning, button code if you're in Lightning, Classic if you're in Classic. And then what you want to do here is detail page button for one uh, per record. But if you want to work with list buttons, then you check that. Oh, sorry, a list view. But for now, we're just focusing on the button and we're going to do it in Lightning. Now, you, may, you just want to remain here for a second because there's additional steps we have to do, which is go to the App Exchange and install this specific um, Titan package because without it you will not be able to access the um, the button so click on uh, app exchange go to Titan and then click over here get it now go to login uh, login with Salesforce Um, I do not want it to go to that one, so let's do, let's go back a step. Let's do more login options. 
good. And at this point, I can add my details. So let's copy my Salesforce details. In here. This one's here, and we'll log in. Interesting, it says it can't find me. Let's use a custom domain. And we'll go over here, let's use this one. Okay. All right, so it's not going to authenticate me that way. That's my issue because I've got multiple orgs set up. So I'm going to try and do this through the app exchange itself within my org and see if it authenticates it. So from here on, let's do app exchange marketplace. Python. Get it now. A login screen. Allow access. Okay. Looks like we're good to go here. So again, um, choose your org, whether it's sandbox or production. I'm just going to choose installing this org. Give it your name. And then check, I have agreed and do confirm and install. At this point, it's going to say, hey, um, do you want to install for all users? Do you want to install for a specific profile? Do you want to install for admins only? This is up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and choose install for all users. And then it's going to go ahead and start to install the package for me. And um, this is important because you will need the package. So go ahead and install the package because without it, you will not be able to generate anything um, within Salesforce. So this normally takes about a couple of minutes, no more than that. And you let it run, let it um, install access to all users. And then while it's doing that, I want you to follow a step. So I want you to go ahead and ignore this for a moment. Click save. Go over here to my account. Go over to collaborators and add yourself as a collaborator. So what, the way you want to do it, there are two ways you can do it. You can either add a collaborator from a profile or you can add as a user. So profiles, you can search for various profiles like system administrator and then you just simply click and then click next. And then you add yourself. But the important part is this, you need to, whatever your document is, for me it was opt.docgen, the submit must be checked. Otherwise you, that user will not see it. Okay, that's really, really important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my uh, self um, from Salesforce. So we'll go over here, search users, this one's me. I'll click next and I'm going to make sure that my user has the access to submit. This is the important one. Uh, if you want them to edit, you can do that too. But if you want to allow them to submit, make sure this one's checked. And click apply. Now, some users at this point may see a red screen here. That means you don't have enough collaborators and you need to contact us at support at formtitan.com or ping us through the chat. Uh, it's quicker. So by all means, if you can uh, add yourself as a collaborator, good. If not, ping us and we'll show you what to do next. 
So that's one step done. And then if we go back over here, installation is complete, we're good to go, and we're done. Now the next step is to go back into that document. So you go to Form Builder. Let's close this and open back into that document and we'll go to document generation, word mapping, configure, and then do Salesforce button, configure, do lightning, and then detail page button, lightning, good. Okay, so these are my instructions. Now I need to follow these instructions. So what we'll do is we'll split this out like this. We'll put them side by side. So let me go and get the other screen as well. Yeah, you know what? We could do this and then we can. Now we can add these together. Okay, so all we have to do is follow these instructions. So, actually, let me make this a bit bigger as well. All right, so go to your setup, like I suggest. Wherever you want to generate your document from, in my case, is opportunity because that's my parent object. I will go to object manager, select opportunity. For you, this could be any object. And then we follow the instructions simply here. Click buttons, links, and actions. Next, we will do new action. At this point, we will choose this as lightning component. You can see, because we installed the package, this is by there by default. This is good. If it's not there, chances are you haven't installed the package or you're an older version, so upgrade. <coughs> and then this one needs to be 870. I'm going to give it a label, Titan Doc Gen, and then we are good to go. And once you save it and it's created, the next step is crucial because you need to add it to the layout. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it. So now we can just come out of full screen mode and then do this individually. So at this point, go to Page Layouts, click on your opportunity of your object's layout, go to mobile slash lightning look for your button which is for me it's this one here and then just drag it into the titan dot gen go ahead and save it good so at this point we've pretty much done most of the work here but there's one crucial step that we need to do so if we look up opportunities opportunity here let's go in there Here's my button. If I click on it, you'll see it say, hey, um, your URL doesn't really exist in our org. So what you need to do is you need to fix this. And the way you do it is in Titan Form Builder, you need to click Save, click onto My Account, go to Document Generation, and then click Save. That's all you have to do. Because we've already connected to our Salesforce org, it's automatically going to send that request. And if you see updated, you've done this correctly. If you see an error, contact us and we'll guide you. So again, click save. It's updated. Very good. And then because we've already added ourselves collaborator, half of the work is already done. So now same thing. Click docgen again. And as you can see, it's now going to load my document. Super easy. And now if I click view slash download, it's going to generate that document for me with my opportunity, uh, my account data, and my table in there very really, really nicely. And it will do it for any other opportunity as well. So this is how you do it. Like the entire installation from top to bottom um, should take you 20 to 25 minutes. Um, and then you are pretty much good to go. So follow all those steps because all those steps are crucial. If one isn't followed, then it breaks the entire process. Thank you for watching this video.